Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video here. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can set up a Google AdSense account for either your website or your YouTube channel. Now, I've had a lot of people ask questions on my previous videos on AdSense about different things and just different confusions, which I would like to clear up in this video. So the first question is, do I need a website to get paid from AdSense? And the answer is no, you don't need a website. However, you can have a website where you then place Google AdSense adverts on your website, or you can have only a YouTube channel. If you only have a YouTube channel, you will need to directly set up your AdSense account through YouTube. And I will show you how to do that later in the video. The best browser that I recommend if you're setting up a Google AdSense account is either Google Chrome or Mozilla. Now, a lot of people have had difficulties with Internet Explorer, so I don't really recommend using Internet Explorer to set up your Google AdSense account. Another question is, do we have to pay to sign up with AdSense? The answer is no. AdSense is your employer, which means that they pay you. All you have to do is create content either for your YouTube or on your website or on both platforms. And once you are a content creator and you fulfill the criteria set by AdSense, you will then get paid from AdSense. The last two questions, yes, you need to be 18 years old or over to set up an AdSense account. If you're not, then you can get your guardian or parents to help you with the whole process. Also be aware that some countries are not eligible to sign up with Google AdSense. All right, now if you have a YouTube channel solely and you don't have a website and you want to um, link your YouTube channel to AdSense. What you need to do is you need to go to your YouTube channel and then uh, once you have signed in, you've logged into it, you need to click on the video manager. And this is just a dummy YouTube channel that I set up for the purposes of this tutorial. Then on the left hand side bar here, you click on channel and then here where it says monetization, you need to click enable and follow the process. And this is how you can then link your YouTube channel to AdSense and also monetize your videos. And of course, verify your account, so your YouTube account. So if you want to know how to do that, I will link that video on how to link your AdSense account to YouTube at the end of this video. And it will also be in the description box as well. Um, have a look, it's a very quick video and it's very straightforward as well. Let me just go here to monetization. As of this year, you'll need to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months. So this is one of the criterias in order to monetize your videos. And you need to have at least 1000 subscribers on your channel. Now that that's clarified, um, let me go to Mozilla. And I'm just going to type in the search area here, AdSense sign up, okay? And as you can see, it says Google AdSense sign up. I would suggest clicking on that. Now, what you need to do is if you have a website, like I mentioned, this is a advert showing on the um, right hand side of my widgets area. So just going to copy the URL of my website and I will paste that in here. Now I've used my other Gmail email address. So from this YouTube channel, which is the dummy YouTube channel, um, I do recommend that you click yes, send me customized help and performance suggestions because um, Google AdSense doesn't necessarily spam you. They do send very helpful content. All right, now save and continue. So to continue to AdSense email, so I guess I need to verify this again. So just click next and enter my password here. Okay, and then I'm just going to now this is the dashboard area for Google AdSense. Um, once you start earning money, it looks quite different, of course, but when you first um, start with Google AdSense, this is pretty much what you will see. Everything is um, in zero and um, your balance will also be zero, obviously. There's one thing I wanna mention. Um, as you can see here, this is the amount that I earned this month. 
And um, once you get started with AdSense and you have been doing this for a while and you start earning money with AdSense, which can take a while to be honest, for me to get to this point, it's taken me literally three years to start making an income over $2,000. But of course, everybody's different. However, when you start making money with AdSense, this is um, pretty much where your balance will show. So at the bottom here, we'll tell you how much you earned the previous month. And this is how much you, or myself in this case, how much I earned this month or how much I'm going to earn this month. So usually payments are made out to a person on the 23rd, on the 24th of the month. We are in April 2018. So this is where it shows. Mind you, this is from my YouTube channel and my When you first um, start with Google AdSense, this is pretty much what you will see. Everything is um, in zero. So um, what you need to do then next is to go to your settings on the left hand side bar and then um, your personal information you can just look through it again and make sure that you fill out all of the details here so um, your contact name your last name your contact email if you want to use a different email you can do that as well and your contact telephone number now i do recommend that you fill out this information very correctly you need to understand google adsense is your employer if you give false information and they find out you're most likely going to be banned from AdSense. And what's the point of that? So make sure you use correct information because they are going to pay you eventually. So if any of these things aren't correct, you might not get paid. You know, once you're happy with this, you can save. I'm just going to leave this blank because um, I don't need to fill this out, but uh, I do recommend you do this first. You can set up your payment information here. There is a payment threshold that you need to reach in order to get paid from Google AdSense. So as you can see here in euros, I need to make at least 70 euros a month to get paid from AdSense. And if I don't make that money, it will roll over to the next month until you achieve your threshold. If you're dealing with dollars, that will be $100. If you're dealing with pounds, that will be 60 pounds. So it really depends on the country that you are applying from. Now, as you can see here, I can't link my bank account details yet because my payment threshold hasn't been reached. Um, quite a few people ask if you can get paid via PayPal or via check. As far as I know, Google AdSense only pays into your bank account. So other payment methods or options aren't available at this moment in time, but maybe in the future that will be made available. Uh, so these are some statistics here and things like that, which again won't be relevant to you if you're just starting. To place ads onto your website, what you need to do is you need to click on my ads and then you need to click on add units. Let's click on new add unit. And these are the type of ads that you can place onto your website. So you can either choose a text and display ad, an in-feed ad, or an in-article ad. Now, the one that I usually use for my website and the one that I recommend is the text and display ad. We can select it. Now, this is the recommended ad size. And the reason why this is recommended, I guess, is because it is responsive. So that means that it will adapt itself to the size and layout of your website. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's say, for example, you can see here my widgets area is quite thick. If I have a responsive ad, it will automatically adjust itself so that it fits perfectly in this area. So that's why I recommend using a responsive ad. However, there are other recommendations here. So you can use a banner ad, of course, if you want. So you can also have a rectangular ad or a square ad. And that's pretty much what I've got here. So this is a square ad. Let's just name our ad. So we can say, I'm just going to go with the responsive. So the recommended here text and display ad so that's okay now you can customize your text and style Let's click on the arrow pointing down you can choose from all of these options so you can see on my website I've got um, dark brown here and then some blue as well so I can uh, try to find a uh, ad that sort of suits that style maybe let's go with this one so if you click on copy and edit you can't 
manipulate what this says because that will be down to the advertiser. However, you can change the color and you can change the outline and things like that. So just play around with all of this. And once you're happy, you can save it. You can also choose custom channels. However, I mean, this is more for websites that have a lot of traffic coming to them. So if you're just starting off, I won't even bother with this section right now. So once you have customized your ad and the way it looks, you can then save and get code. I'm just going to save and get code. What you need to do is just click in this box and then you want to copy. And then what you want to do is you want to head over to your website and you can easily copy this HTML code into a WordPress website or a Wix. Now I've got a WordPress website, so I'm just gonna go to my website here. And um, this is the dashboard area. So you wanna go to appearance. When you are at appearance, you wanna click on widgets. So basically what you're doing is you are pasting your HTML code into the widgets area. So you wanna scroll down and you want to grab a text box. So this one here, the arbitrary text or HTML box. As you can see here, I'm on the right hand side bar. So this is what's selected. So I'm just going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and I'm going to put it right at the bottom here. So this is my website, okay, naturalvita.net. And I'm putting it on the right hand side bar of my website, okay? So if I scroll all the way to the bottom here, I'm going to put the ad underneath this ad here. And now I'm going to click in this contents box and I'm going to paste that HTML code. And then what I wanna do is save. Boom, this is how easy it is. Okay, let me just have a look to see if any ads will show. Um, nope, it's not showing. You can see it's not showing, okay. Now, if your ad doesn't show, there are different reasons for this. It's either because your website isn't verified yet. Now, if that's the case, I would wait at least one or two days. If it still doesn't show, I will contact Google AdSense. And what I'll do is I'll link a video at the end of this video on how to contact Google AdSense or generally Google. And you can then find out from them how long it will take to verify your account. But this is pretty much how you can then add the code onto your website. So I'm just going to close this. If you want to add your code onto, say for example, a blog post of yours. Now let's say for example, I want to put the ad, a banner ad here on this um, blog post of mine. Say here, for example, I can go to edit post this is one of my posts, I'm just editing it. This is my real AdSense account. So I'm just going to go to my ad and add units. As you can see, I've got multiple ad units already created. So I'm gonna choose one of my banner ads, say this one, banner ad, I'm gonna get the code. So I'm going to copy that. And this time I'm going to put it on this blog post. So what I need to do is I'm going to go up here and click on, I'm going to change it from visual to text. So this is where I can place the HTML code. And I'm just going to put it here. Okay, so I'm going to paste that code, so you can see. This is the HTML code that I've copied from here. So this is a banner ad. I'm gonna close this, and then I will save, save. And let me view my post. It should now show on my post. If I, there you go, okay. As you can see, it doesn't fit perfectly on this post. So I can rectify that by clicking on new ad unit and then I can pretty much, let me just show you. I can, you know, click on, uh, where is it? Horizontal banner and choose the size that I need for my website, you know. So this is how you can add a ad unit onto your blog post and also onto the right hand sidebar of your website. Now, as I said, before, if you're just starting off and nothing shows here, wait a couple of uh, days. If nothing's happening, I would contact Google AdSense and just ask them how long it will take or what the criteria is for your website to get verified. Now, if you have a YouTube channel only, you don't have a website, then I have made a step-by-step -step video on how to link your YouTube account to AdSense. So please do click on this video it's, um, it's going to be at the end of this video now and also in the description box 
or if you go to my channel, you can see it. Um, click on it and then follow the step in order to verify your account to monetize your videos and link your YouTube channel to Google AdSense. All right, guys, I think this will do it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. Now, if you have more questions on the subject of AdSense, leave it down in the comments box and I will do my best to compile a video where I answer all of the typical AdSense questions that people have. And if you found this video useful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. So like the video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you all for watching and um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.